Continue along here with the collar chokes. We're doing close side tail collar chokes. But uh, I just got the beginning before. Um, one other issue came up just on the last one here I want to bring up, but it's cool because we're going through. We got to do it anyway. So you have this side. We worked through here. We were in this position. We, we minded the legs here. We weren't letting him escape easily. So he came to this position here, came up, and when we sat through, here's what a lot of people are doing. It's like you're here and you're not, you're just staying. You're not extending your shin toward his neck. It doesn't have to be all the way in, but you're not doing it at all. And your, your, your uh, hips are cramped up, so you can't get any extension to, to finish that choke. So it's all pain. When you're here, what you want to do is you slide through, so you're getting closer and closer to his neck. So if there's any resistance at all, I'm, I keep sliding. And remember, I said extend your hips. So I'm extending my hips into him so that it's creating a choke here. If you don't, it's just going to be pain. Some people will tap for it, some people won't. I'm just twisting him up. But he can actually start to walk out of it. So what I want to do is I want to be nice and close here. But what you'll get, especially when you start doing this in upper weight classes, you'll get guys who start to sit up. So once I sat through, they're going to sit up at you. So you're going to have to consider what to do here. So when you're in this position, once he sits up, there are a bunch of different things we can do depending on what happens. Here, his arm is really deep in here. Actually, I'll just turn it around so no one has to move. Yeah, turn around. So we're here, okay, I went for my move, I sat through, he comes up. Now, there are a couple things that come into play that you have to pay attention to. First of all is the hip extension. If you get smashed up here and let him come around, that's it. Okay, you, you, you can't let that happen. So you have to have your arm in place and you have to be extending your hips, keeping him away. You also can't wait too long, you can't just sit here on it. All right, so you have to continue to pull this to keep him away and extend your hips. See those two motions? My leg going this way and pulling keep him, keep him away temporarily. Now, if his arm's really far in, I can start to come this way. See, I can't reach with my leg yet. So I move him this way, here. Okay, you can start to move him a little bit. If you want, you can just switch to an arm bar here, obviously. Okay, that's right there. So you can go right to the arm bar position. A lot of guys are smarter than that. They're gonna come here to pull the arm out. So if you're more flexible, you can bring your foot into play here. All right, so that you can still hold here, okay, and add to the choke. All right, so you get kind of a go-go plot in here. So right here, boom, boom. So it depends on your situation. I'm just showing both moves at the same time because it's going to change every time. So right here, I'm folded up because I'm coming from the move. I'm already folded. But when you're here, either you see the arm, the arm's really present. See where it is? It's really deep. So you're right here. I just like to grab this for safety. So if I'm going to go for the arm bar, I go from here to here and move him. So I affect his base, makes it easier, makes my job easier later. Okay, so I affect his base, and as soon as I let go of this with my left hand, you know, I'm in, I'm in position. Because if you don't affect his base here, and you leave it alone, and you go for the arm bar, see how he, he's good here, he's going to get out nine times out of ten. So if I notice, I'm feeling it here, he's trying to come and smash me, I'll move from here to here. Okay, and then try to get, try to get that arm. Squeeze the knees together, and pinch up. All right. If not, I'm here. You can use a little flexibility and go for your gogo plata stuff here. So my shin, my foot's right underneath his neck. You can stay here if you want. That's fine. And extend. Okay. So I'm still pulling with this hand. My left hand. I'm kicking out with my foot. All right. Let's try it out. I just want to talk about the situation here with stacking. I could come toward me and stack. Yeah. Like when we were talking about the stacking thing, he's on his knees. There are a few things I want to talk about. I really did address for a reason the extension of the hips. That's important. So some of you are here, and let's say you have this situation here. That you're doing this. So you have the gi here. You know, you're at this angle. You're trying to get the choke. Okay, so you, you were like this. And whatever's going on here. If I stay cramped, look, I can't, I can't get it in there. I mean, you know, when I was demonstrating, I may be here, and I may use a little hand to help the leg, because Eddie's smaller, I'm, I'm, I've got long legs. But still, you've got to use your legs here. Right, that's one of the things that really stops him from, from just getting around. If you stay in a cramped up position like this, and you don't do any extension, you just pull, you know, he can quite possibly, yeah, exactly, start flattening you out and getting around. Yeah, it's going to suck because you've got the, the gear on his neck, but it's, it's totally possible. You want to use this leg as much as possible, especially in the situation here where the arm was in. I'm here. I'm doing almost like a sweep. I'm trying to keep him up on me and keep him away from passing. I'm here. Then watch, when I extend, you know, that's, that's when his, the pressure comes on his arm, and I have the room here to bring the leg over. I have to extend. 
That's all about extension there. All right? So if I want to make any kind of space here, see, I had to extend first. You can't let them on me. Once I have this position, then I have the appropriate Goga Plata thing. Even if you want to finish the Goga Plata, there are a lot of things you can do through extension. You can't stay like this. It's hard. I feel, I feel like I can't get anything. You have to be here. You can even extend well to help you get the choke. I can put my shin on my own foot, and as I extend, I'm pushing my foot into his, into his throat. So you can change your position here. You can go here, boom, extend. All right, but this is a good position, and it's very important. I'm just letting it go so you can breathe. It's, it's very important to get this, this leg around here. So when you're here, you don't want to hang here. This is just good anyway, even if you didn't get a choke. It's just good guard work, period. Like, let's say I wasn't going to get anything. Let's say I was here, and he slipped his head down and out, back. I just have a good guard position. So you just, it's a good training for you guys, even at a beginner, any level. Here, like, I, lo I missed out. I'm just replacing. I don't want him here like this. This is a really decent passing position for him. He's got this arm underneath. He's, he's not in danger, uh, danger of the triangle because he's got my shin trap. So when I'm here, this is just a good habit anyway. Whether I had the gear or not, maybe I lost the gi. I want to be here. It's a better guard position now. You know, he knows it. I can start to, I can start to work my guard and be more dangerous. <clears throat> All right? So practice that some more and work on extending your hips a little bit, making better use of that shin where it is, where it is.